For this example, we're going to be looking at a concept called average rate of change. Average rate of change for a specified interval is the ratio change in output over change in input. Let's see how that works with this problem. The function e of t equals 3861 minus 77.2 times t gives the surface elevation in feet above sea level of Lake Powell t years after 1999. Use the function and your graphing calculator to complete the table below. So let's enter this function into our graphing calculator. We're going to go to our y equals and if there's anything in there, let's clear it out. I'm going to enter 3861 minus 77.2 and we can't do t but we can do x. So there is our function. What I want to do is access the table but before I do that I want to go to table set. That's this blue so I'm going to do second table set. I want to be sure that my table starts at zero. My table starts at six, so I'm going to change that to zero. Also, I want to be sure that my change in table values, that's delta table equals one, and that both independent and dependent are auto. Once I have those settings, I want to go to my table, and I should be able to just read the values off of the table right onto my written table here. So this was in 1999, that's year zero. The surface elevation was 3,861 feet. The next year, in 2000, it was 3,783.8 feet. So I'm just going to keep going down here and writing in all the information. So check your table and be sure that yours looks like mine. Notice there is a skip here from 3 to 5, so your years go from 2002 to 2004. So be sure that you have the correct data written down for the outputs for t equals 3 and t equals 5. So let's use this information to help us respond to parts A, B, and C. First part A says determine the average rate of change of the surface elevation between 1999 and 2000. So we're going to be working with these two inputs and these two outputs. <clears throat> to compute the change in output, I'm going to compute 3783.8 minus 3861 divided by 1 minus 0. If I perform that subtraction, I get negative 77.2 and the units are the units always of the output which is feet over the input which is years. For 2000 to 2004 we're going to be looking at here to here. So here to here. So that's 3475 minus 3,783.8 divided by 5 minus 1. That's going to give us negative 308.8 over 4, which is negative 77.2 feet per year. And for part C, to determine the average rate of change between 2001 and 2005, 2001 is here, 2005 is here, so I'm using these values, 3397.8 minus 3706.6 over 6 minus 2. We get the same thing as we did here and end up with negative 77.2 feet per year.